No, sometimes when I'm in the middle of a, say we're commentating on a rally, and I would always say, oh, what a smash from a two you know, Just whatever comes out. Whatever just feels right at the time. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Players ready to play, please. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Robert Matysiak, Nadiesha Zimba, Poland. <laughs> And a very warm welcome to a cold Uppsala here just about one hour north of Stockholm for the finals of the 2016 Service Swedish over. Masters Badminton Championships. One I'm Mark up. Phelan and we're delighted to have you along for this the finals as I said the Swedish Masters Badminton Championships mixed doubles getting Two us up. underway and joining me and I'm delighted to have beside me Thomas Johansson, former Swedish great, two-time Olympian, uh, single specialist. Thomas, you're very welcome and uh, looking forward to having you here for the duration of the morning and into the afternoon. Thank you, Mark. It should be easy. Uh, I'm glad to be here oh. and it's um, going to be Three. nice to see Lock. some um, high-level badminton again here. So on court and in black and further from the camera, 
representing Poland, top seeds, Robert Matusiak. 40 years of age now, Robert, but still playing like he's a sprightly 21-year-old. And his partner, Nadia Zieva, top seeds for this championship. Four. Love. Opposing them from Denmark. The player, the pair who beat them in their last meeting in the final of the Irish Open before Christmas. Okay. Matthias Christiansen and Lena Greback. So uh, some bragging rights asso love. associated with this uh, final here in Sweden. Well, the Polish pair has a good start, but I think uh, it's going to be a close match. Uh, the Danish pair is uh, have a good offensive. Uh, Christiansen have a, have a good smash, good power in the smash. Um, over. But the Polish pair is One very experienced, point. and they, um, Robert Matusiak is a smart player, and um, Nadia is a good mixed ladies uh, player. Just a point to note that the people who are listening were quite close to the action, so we Two might just have to whisper five. a little bit, and uh, just so the players can't hear us. So uh, apologies for that, but um, on with the action, and of course. Matusiak and Zieba, who have come back in to world-class badminton at the beginning of the summer last year. Nadia was out after having her first child maybe almost two years ago. And uh, their goal, of course, is to qualify for the Rio Olympics, and they're well on their way to doing that at number 18 in the world. And uh, Four, five. they had a very, very hectic schedule in 2015. But talking to Robert yesterday... They're feeling a little bit more relaxed now because they can start to pick and choose their tournaments because their world ranking is so, so relatively good that they can now really start to pick and choose their tournaments rather than rushing around to every single event trying to get uh, okay. yeah. points. And of course, when you're 40 years of age, that's a nice luxury to be able to do that. Yeah, that's a nice luxury, mm -hmm. as you said. But um, Matthias and Lena are very uh, different characters. You have Matthias, who is a very, very much a fiery yeah, uh, personality. Uh, an emotional guy. Emotional guy. Yeah. And Lena Service is certainly the calming six, influence in that four. partnership. Yeah. And they work very, very well together. Lena was out for oh, almost five months with injury and came back before Christmas. And sometimes that's a good break. Uh, yeah. There is the um, Christiansen's uh, hard smash Service in the over. middle. Um, and I guess uh, the Polish pair's tactics is to to keep the shuttle down and uh, don't let Christiansen uh, get into the game too much. Six, a tricky four. pair to play against the Poles because Robert Matusiak is very very comfortable coming forward yep. and playing at the net. And uh, Definitely. And Nadia is equally as uncomfortable uh, in the rear. So uh, sometimes it's very off-putting for the op opposition when you see the man coming forward as often as Robert does. Uh, but he, uh, Robert is Service good in, in the mid-court. Uh, uh, he's a smart player and uh, Nadia is a, is a tall girl. She, she has no problem to be in the backcourt. So Eight after a good start, six. the uh, Danes have settled. And this is sometimes a problem with Matthias. He is that fiery character, and sometimes it takes him just a little bit of time to find to a rhythm in, in a yeah. game and get into it. Are we also going to see Matthias in the Nine men's doubles six. finals uh, sooner here? Yes. In Furishof. And he will revel. In the uh, in the position of being underdog in both, you know he's uh, the poles are favourites for this, and uh, even though the Danes have beaten them before, the poles will certainly be favourites. Ten. And six. in the men's doubles, uh, Kim Asup and uh, Anders Skalp Rasmussen will be the hot favourites to lift yes, the men's I doubles also. So. Um, if you see at the world ranking, the, the Polish pair is ranked number 18, and the Danish pair is ranked uh, 50. So. I think the Polish pair is a little bit favourite, but I uh, still think it's going to be a close game. 11, yeah, six, the interval. Danish world ranking is just a little bit uh, misleading. Why? Because uh, they were out of the game just for a couple of months uh, because of Lena 
with an injury and the ranking just fell a little bit. They're a little bit better than that world ranking, of course. That's why they're in the final and that's why they're in the last final in, uh, in Ireland. I don't know if we see the, the coach for the Danish pair is Per Henrik Krona, uh, Swedish guy from um, Kolskoga in Värmland. Uh, he was at the National Center in Malmö first and then he went to Germany, uh, Saarbrücken uh, a while and uh, now he's uh, head coach for the Danish ladies seconds. in his players foremost um, but on these kind of tournaments he's uh, coaching all categories. Yes he works a lot with the young Danish women's singles and uh, as you said he was in Saarbrücken as part of the BWF program before the Beijing Olympics as, as one of the head coaches there. Eleven six. Yeah. Coached actually uh, one of the players uh, in the women's singles final uh, in Saarbrück in that time Olga Conan was okay. uh, coached by Per Henrik on that on, uh, for that uh, six nine months. I spoke to him yesterday, and he, uh, I think it's his fifth year in Denmark, and he he's enjoying it a lot, and he's doing a very good job there. But hates flying. Yes, he di he does. I know that when you tell me, yeah. Yeah, but Henrik has to drive everywhere, so. Uh. Difficult nowadays. Oh, there yeah. also you see uh, a <laughs> bad lift from Matusiak yeah. and a very powerful smash Seven, in 12. the middle again. Yeah, powerful, but uh, as you said, Thomas, the lift was really only half court and yeah. easy smash. Matusiak and Zieber had that great run of tournaments ah, through the middle period of 2015. Of course, they won the very last tournament in Turkey before Christmas and uh, won the Bitburger Open Grand Prix Gold, which is like two levels higher than this event. And uh, that was a huge win for them on their way to uh, the top 20 in the world. And won in Bulgaria, 13, in Belgium, eight. Ukraine, and uh, the Lagos International. So... Uh, while only back maybe 10, 11 months, already six wins to their credit. So a uh, phenomenal That's record. That's a good record, yeah. yeah. And you were into the Olympic qualifying uh, period. It mm -hmm. stops uh, the 5th of May. And in mixed doubles, it's uh, 16, 16 pairs mm -hmm. who is playing Olympics. But... Uh, Every county has maximum two two places. So, um, for example, China they have more pairs who's going away. So, it's, yeah, yeah. The clean list will go down to yeah. about uh, maybe twenty in the eight. world if you're lucky. Twenty-two, and of course, you have to have the continental representation. Yes, yeah, so that's so right. So you will have s a pair such as Robert Middleton and his partner from Australia, while they may be ranked thirty-four yeah. in the world or something yeah. like that, they will still uh, qualify on one of those continental places, which is another spot gone yeah. for the higher ranked players. That's I don't know the exact rules. And, uh, for example, uh, Africa has also a spot. And uh, so it's a difficult thing to qualify for Nine an Olympic Games in doubles. It's, it's even harder now than it was uh, when I played the Olympics mm. because um, the, the uh, doubles categories it has less spots than, um, than before. Um, and in singles, I think it's 38 spots. Ladies and men's singles. Oh, steep angle on the smash. Oh, uh, but out. Uh, uh, as you say, the lift was very, very short. Mm. But it was Service uh, over, 15, uh, 9. In halls like this, in, 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 in big halls, uh, it's, it's hard to, to, um, to finish with, with the smash from the rear back court. So it's ten and I, I think uh, you see wha it's no problems when the, when, the, when the lift is long enough. It's, uh, they had problems to, to, to kill the shuttle. Yeah. So 10 minutes gone. And it's the Poles who lead 59 here in the mixed doubles final of the 2016 Swedish Masters. 
in cold Uppsala. And the temperatures were getting down to minus 12, 13 this week. And uh, with the action certainly hotting up here on court. It's the Poles, Matusiak and Zieva, who got off to the best start, leading 15-9. Nine. The Polish pair beats on Grafholt and Mike and Frugard of Denmark in the semi final yesterday and in the quarter final yesterday morning. Beat Ruben Yil and Iris Tabling of the Netherlands in two games. Service have over. not dropped a Ten. set en route 16. to this final. There's a service fault called on Matusiak. Serve was. Um, Service over. What do you call it? Over the waist? Yeah, above, the waist? yeah, above the waist, yeah. Above the waist. It's happened a few times this week. I've seen it uh, with Robert. A uh, few times uh, he's been called up this week in Uppsala. But yeah, but he's, I think he he's not a tall guy. Mm. and uh, he, he has, uh, You see he lifts his truck uh, up hi pretty high. So, and, um, yeah. So, so I... Every it's on the edge, that's all right. Every millimeter is crucial for Robert. <laughs> 19, 10. I think the Polish player is very solid and they, they play um, very calm. And, um, and uh, the Danish have no medicine for it right now. Yeah, super return of serve. 20, and equally points. good. From Nadia Zeba at the net, taking the poles to game point. 12 minutes gone. Game. Yeah, an easy uh, winner. That was a bad shot from mm. uh, Christiansen. I think um, you need to put some more energy Christian. into the Danish pair. It's uh, They're playing too slow and they. Don't look for the offense. They have to work harder for to, to get the shuttle up in the air so they can attack more. Yeah, the Poles got off to that good start. Leading six love it was at the very beginning, uh, Thomas. And, but the Danes did settle and tied it up again at uh, seven all. But after that, uh, as you said, uh, not playing with enough intensity. No. Uh, the no. and, and Poles, the, you know, the Polish pair are still playing within themselves. Uh, so... Uh, a lot to do now for Per Henrik, uh, talking to Matthias and Lena to try and get them up for this second game. Yeah, they, they must, uh, the level must in the Danish game must up. Uh, the Polish pair looks very comfortable, but uh, the energy must up, uh, at least for uh, Christiansen. Mm -hmm. Grebak uh, also must move better at the net and in the midcourt. Robert Matusiak already back out on the court, ready to go. Yeah, so he was doing a test serve, and it's mm. yeah, I understand the service judge. He, he has a very flat serve with with the racket up mm. pretty high. So the order of play today, for those of you who j may have just joined us, this mixed doubles, the first match of these, the Swedish Masters final. It'll be followed by the all-German women's singles final between top seed Olga Konen, or top seed Karin Schnaza, and number four seed Olga Konen. And then we'll have the women's doubles, men's singles, and finally the men's doubles to round Second off game. the tournament. Love all play. Uh, we'll see if the Danish player is... Um Doing a little bit better this uh, set than before. Uh, good cross court shot from the net. One love.
Uh, yeah. Good rally from the Danish pair. You see directly they have more energy and uh, they are more uh, more intense in their game. Service and over. They must uh, play at this level for One to have a chance in this set. Yeah, the feathers flying off the shuttle mid rally and. Uh, one thing the players have mentioned this week uh, to me from speaking to them is that the, the hole is quite slow. Yeah, uh, so it it's it very it difficult to get the shuttle down. Oh, and the oh, vision again from Matusiak. Uh, he's moving into the net and he, uh, he has Nadia in the back uh, and he's, Two, one. he's sure that she's taking care of that and he, he can go forward. Mm -hmm. Play. In the final uh, in Ireland, which I was at before Christmas, uh, certainly Lena dominated the net and uh, a lot of the uh, points that the Service Danes won on that occasion came in and around the net. So you can I can see almost here that the poles are trying to uh, keep the shuttle away from her. They're pushing everything <coughs> to Matthias at the back and uh, almost taking Lena out of the game. Yeah, but it, in the first set, the Polish, they, they were um, standing... Um, close to the net and that's that's why they could um, Three, pass lean at the two. net y you can't be too uh, too long and too good yeah <laughs> but a better start for sure in this game uh, in the second game for the Danes just a little bit more intensity about them much more much, yeah. much better And this time Nadia yeah. winning Service that over. net exchange. Yeah. It's good on Nadia at, uh, in the, um, at the net there, as you say. Yes, she's just keeping the shuttle down and don't let the, the Lena get aggressive. Four, three. And the Poles, they played so many tournaments before Christmas and, and uh, since September. By the end, uh, I certainly, for the few tournaments I saw them at, they were effectively worn out. You know, and they're, th they're not the youngest pair anymore. Uh, they, they need some time between tournaments. And uh, one thing I've noticed, and there again, is that the serve of Zieba is rock solid so far in this final. In one or two of the tournaments towards the end of the year, her serve got very, very jittery. Five, three. And uh, the opponents were, you know, they noticed that and they were able to really attack the serve and mm. win some crucial points like that. But uh, I can see this week her serve is really Backing tight up. to the net and back. Yeah. Tuziak forced to lift. I think Six, that will go down as a mistake three. from Griebach. Certainly, position was correct. The racket was up. She was there to intercept. But just mistimed the shot. Service over. Four. Oh, great return yeah. on the serve. Service yeah. over. Mm. Seven, four. Yeah, she looks confident in this final. Uh, of course, Lena has the good intention to 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 make a sh net stop back again, but I, I would I, I I think it's no problem for her to lift to the back call because call. Robert has no powerful Service smash over. to lift Five, this good. Seven. So, um, Robert, Robert. And now you see again it's the third time uh, the service has made a fault on Robert's serve.
Service over. I think it's uh, Lina who is struggling to find her game in, 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 in this match so far. Yeah, she hasn't really got Play. into it, as mm. you say, no, no. Uh, right idea. We're just drifting Five. along over the baseline. And it's the poles now. They're really starting to build up a head of steam uh, in this game. Already one set to the good. Winning the first 21-10 and 9-5 ahead in the second. Yeah. That's the way to do the job for the Danish pair. They, they, they need Service to get over. the shuttle up in the Six air and, and have the nine. attacking part like that. Yeah, the power of Chris Janssen, really. One of his real strong points. And a good angle smash right yeah. into the forehand hip of Nadia Zieba. He's got really good angles at the smashes. You see that he's a big guy and he smashes hard. And um, if you compare to when Robert smashes, he's a smaller guy. He smashes more flat. Service over. And I think it's strange that uh, Ten, when Robert six. Was, has been attacking, that the Danish pair has gotten really got to, to it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Fault receiver, 11-6, yeah. interval. There you see it was a fault Matthias. receiver. Uh, the Danish guy was uh, too early. Matthias. Yeah. And this is the problem with Matthias. He uh, sorry, come here, please. When things here. go against him, yeah. he tends to uh, lose the concentration okay. and will often find himself getting a card. And uh, that's where Lena then will step in and try and calm the situation yeah. down. But um, You can see that uh, it's a guy with a temperament. Mm. And, um, But it's getting to the point now, Thomas, where it's uh, it's all or nothing now for the Danes. They're one set behind. They're trailing 11-6. And uh, the first couple of rallies after the interval are going to be crucial. Yeah, they are. And I, but I think the, the Polish seconds. pair, they are looking steady. And I think they are very comfortable with Thank the you. game. So big points now for Lena Grebeck and Matthias Christiansen. And uh, they certainly Seven will take all the look they can get. Seven, eleven. Service over, twelve, seven. Uh, you can see that Christiansen is no, not happy with the game at all. <laughs> yeah, the frustration uh, is starting yeah. to boil over. Yeah, oh, super. Uh, it's a bad push for Christiansen. It goes seven. right up to Nadia. course in mixed doubles in doubles the first three shots in the rally always crucial yes you always mm -hmm. talk about service service mm -hmm. return and mm -hmm. the third shot there yeah. Yeah. yeah yes it was i could see, I could see. no i no, think no. it was out Robert, yeah it was just out but uh, yeah. lena but it was out then complaining that uh, Robert was shouting seven. out, out, out before the uh, line yeah. judge make the actual call. That I understand mm. because it's very irritating as if you're a player and your opponent is uh, shouting before mm. the line judge has made his decision. Ah, uh, that's that's a good way of playing from the Danish pair. Yeah. Even if the lift is short, Service it doesn't matter. Over. You see uh, that Christian side has a powerful smash with a very good angle. Yeah. Oh. I think that as well. Over. 
The flick serve was just way too short 15, initially. Eight. Nadia was quick to get behind the shuttle. Yeah. And then uh, easy smash really for Robert. 15-8, the Poles lead, 26 minutes gone, already one set to zero ahead. It's Matusiak and Zieba who are in the driving seat right now in this mixed doubles final. Service over. Yeah, you can see uh, Nine, we hear that P.O. Kroos had a good arm bite, so uh, yeah, it's good, good job from the Dutch pair. That's a good serve from Lena, you see that, and, and um, Robert has to push it Ten, up 15. instead of down, and uh, Christiansen can, could kill it. And for the first time in the match, Thomas, that's two points in a row mm -hmm. that the Danes have controlled and constructed uh, the winning point. Service over. It's too passive in the defense from Lena there. Yeah, she's just standing still and put the shuttles back to the same place and Robert has no problems to advance in the court and go further to the net and uh, finish the rally. Nadia, take it. Carol E. Ariel in the umpire's chair. Myself and Carol. The sum of the Irish involvement this week here. <laughs> ah, okay, I see. In uh, Uppsala. Yeah, one of Robert's favourite shots to go cross net, but uh, not quite working out in that occasion. Service over, 11-16. This is the third year that the Swedish Masters has been held here in uh, Uppsala. Service over. 17, 11. That's two flick serves in a row from Christiansen uh, that have landed out. Yeah, they, they can't afford that uh, here in this game. Uh, yeah. oh, I was fault. suspecting that mm. because Robert is uh, his racket is uh, pointing um, down when he starts to serve, Service but over. Uh, in the moment 12, when he hits the shot, he, he takes it up. Yeah, and, uh, the head comes above the head handle. Yeah, yeah mm. has it more horizontal. Mm -hmm. So I think that's very correct decision. And there's that cross net again from Matusiak. This time, Lena Grebeck was covering it and uh, was very much uh, 13, in control at the net. 17. I think we've reached a crucial point, Thomas. Uh, this is a certainly a point in the match where uh, the Danes need to get a few points on the serve of Lena. A good serve from Lena. Uh, a bad push from uh, Christian Sarr. He's pushing too hard Service and it's going up 18, instead 13. of yes. taking the pace mm. of the shuttle Please. and place it between uh, the, the Polish guy and, uh, and the girl. I think that's a little bit uh, the problem for Christian Sarr because uh, he, like, he likes to play fast and hard and... and um, when he really doesn't have the chance to do that, he he, he does it anyway, yeah, even if yeah. it's not a correct decision. Yeah, it's it's almost okay. like a, a men's doubles uh, mentality, uh, yeah. a little bit more so than mixed at times. Eighteen thirteen. So as the umpire Nine. calls it, it's eighteen thirteen. Three points from the win for the poles. And again, quality 19, serving from Zieba. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. And that cross court winner from Robert Matusiak taking the poles to match point. But the job was done by Nadia there. You see a good serve, good third shot. And Robert finished the, uh, the rally. The string has come mm -hmm. from the Danish guy's racket. Yeah, no real options for uh, Matthias Kusiansen and uh, Thomas, I think in the end, a comfortable win for the Poles, taking the game at 21-10, 21-13, reversing yeah. the result from the last time they met in Ireland and a uh, warm round of applause from the crowd here for the Poles. But they were the class pair this week. They were the top seeds and uh, I think they deserved it. Yeah, really, they, did, they play very comfortable, very solid. They didn't miss so much and the Danish pair didn't actually play so well as I thought they would do. So that's uh, the end of the mixed doubles. I think the prize giving ceremony will follow and we'll be back then with the women's singles final between Karin Schnaza, top seed and... Presenting the awards are Erika Borstedt from Badminton Sweden and P.G. Jönsson from Sabu. And the runner-up of the Swedish Masters 2016 Mixed double from Denmark, Matthias Christiansen and Lena Greba. Swedish Masters 2016 Mixed Double from Poland, Robert Matusiak and Nadjesta Siba. Guys, oh, congratulations, Nadia. Well done, Robert. And uh, a change from Ireland, and uh, you've reversed the result. Uh, what was the tactic, Nadia? Uh, actually, in Ireland, I played so bad. <laughs> and I did not want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, <it's> true. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but today it's, it was uh, much better, yeah. and I feel much better on the net. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when I feel uh, good on the net, then uh, I'm very calm about back. 
and uh, Robert make uh, very well work, then, yeah. then we win. <laughs> a few service co faults again, but it always happens to you. You, you seem to, uh, you take it and just move on to the next point, but yeah. some players isn't, but uh, how do you deal with that, Robert? Yeah, it's actually, not maybe not every time yeah. but this happens, but this service job okay. always happens oh, <laughs> with okay. the service job. Ah, I'm joking, of course. Yeah, yeah we was fo focused from the beginning today because actually was so angry for our last uh, losing against uh, this Danish player. They are still okay, but we know that we like, play not best badminton last time. Uh, so that's why today when we wake up, we just was focused from the beginning, like you see on the court. Then um, it was more easy to play when Nadia feel like today and yesterday afternoon. Then for me, it's also much easy, more more happy to play, more enjoy to play. And that's why it's really right like this. Guys, that's brilliant. Another tournament, another win. Congratulations. And on the road to Rio, you're getting there and uh, almost there. Let's fingers crossed for you and uh, go and enjoy it and uh, safe trip. And we see you maybe uh, somewhere. Uh, you, you go to Kazan, no? No, no, so we'll see you maybe in Orléans or somewhere like that, or uh, European Championships. Yeah. European Championships, okay. Yes, well done. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah Chausseni, Austria. Service judge, Matea Rosnik, Slovenia. See, I never get a rest. No. <laughs>